The private consumption component, or C component of GDP, is the largest component in the United States, accounting for about 70% of the United States economy. So most items, if you think about it, would go under private consumption. So you buy a pizza, even educational services are seen as private consumption. One quick note on private consumption. For individuals that own their own homes, they take the rental equivalent of that home and count that towards the GDP. So this is one of those kind of rare exemptions that they make for home production. Usually home production, like you have an apple tree, it grows apples, that doesn't count towards GDP. But when we look at homes that people own, the home every month is creating shelter. Well, that's adding value to the economy. A lot of people own their own homes. So if we didn't figure out how much value is being created in shelter by those who own their own homes, we'd be missing out on a lot of production in the U.S. economy, and it would be missed in the GDP number. So if you live in your own home, let's say they figure it could rent for $1,200 per month as an equivalent, then that would count towards $1,200 for the GDP for that month. So if someone's renting an apartment, there's already a market transaction there or renting a house. They're going to be writing a check for the rent, and obviously that would be uh, calculated in. But if you live in your own home, you're not making any kind of rental or check payment. One quick note, too, it's not based off of mortgages because mortgages really don't reflect the market value of the home. For example, my mortgage payment could be quite a bit different if I have a 30-year mortgage or a 15-year mortgage or how much money did I put down originally on the home. So the mortgage payment really isn't a good value for the GDP number. The market equivalent, what it could rent for, is what is considered. So little caveat for the consumption component.